Death Valley Days. And another story about the men who made the West, that rough and tumble breed who spent a lifetime panning the thin trail of gold dust, hoping to find its source and with it, a fortune. But more often than not, the dream itself turned to dust and despair. However, there was always the hope and adventure of another day. And no team of miners knew this better than a couple of cantankerous old gentlemen from New Mexico who met the man who didn't want gold. If it's the last thing I ever do, I'll get this saddle on you. Oh, I don't you listen to what I say. Fourteen years and you still don't know how to pack the beast. Do it yourself. All right, I will. Well, come on and help me hold her. I ain't got two pairs of hands. Good thing. Else we'd be in twice the trouble. Here, give me that thing. I'll do it. I'll take gold myself. Get your gun. I'll get Jassy. Make out like you don't even notice him. Sorry, Jesse. Seems like we ain't gonna leave just yet. He looks hurt. Unlikely some trick. Probably trying to sniff out our gold. I ain't taking no chances. Hold it right there, mister! I said, hold it. What do you want? Watch yourself, Jack. You ain't wearing a gun. Hey. Water. Sleep. Well, uh, I don't know. Well, he can have water and grub, but he can't stay. Got to keep moving. Looks like he's hurt sort of bad. Shot. Posse's after me. Then you better get going, mister. Yeah, we want no part of outlaws. Ain't no outlaw. It's a mistake. When the law's after you, there's got to be a reason. I didn't do it. Well, we could uh, just let him rest up a bit. What, and get the law on us for helping a man escape? I'm innocent. I swear it. Would I tell you the law's after me? We just can't afford to take a chance, and I tell you, we can't afford to... What are you being so stubborn about? The man's hurt. He needs doctoring. When a man's on the run, there's a reason for it. He told us a reason, and it's good enough for me. Well, it ain't good enough for me. What if he steals the gold we got? You darn fool. How can he steal what he don't know about? With you around, he'll find it the way you blabber. Oh, you pig-headed, four-footed. If he steals our gold, it'll be because you yats your big mouth off. I ought to take you and beat the living Try it. You've been saying you're going to do it for years. You... Well, don't just stand there. Give me a hand. That ought to do it, Redmond. You ought to be a doctor. It's funny you should say that, because I've often thought that one of these days I just might turn my talents to the science of medicine. Anybody in his right mind wouldn't let you within 10 feet of him, unless he was helpless like him. You just keep your opinions to yourself, uh, else I'll do a little doctoring on you. Here, a little bit of this food in your big mouth. Maybe it'll keep it occupied for a while. Of course, it. It ain't exactly none of our business, but uh, what was it they're after you for? Of course it's our business. We're putting him up, ain't we? What's you running away from? 
Some cowpoke got shot in a town over in Texas just as I was passing through. I was a stranger, so they figured I did it. Did you? No. Nope. One thing I learned about justice over there a long time ago. Get away from it as fast as you can. You don't have to worry about no posse now. You're in New Mexico. Never heard of a Texas posse that worried much about crossing state lines. How long have I been here now? A little over two days. <laughs> Didn't figure I had that much jump on him. You'll be wanting to go as soon as you can. Oh, not in any rush. Where these hills are might be a good place to hold up for a while. You been getting much gold hereabouts? Uh, barely enough to keep us eating. Sometimes not even that. Yeah, fact is, we've been figuring on moving on. Uh, man's instinct for survival. Yeah, might do it just as soon as you leave. Well, gonna give me some fresh air. A little exercise. Take a walk up that hill. Might find me a gold mine. Good for survival. We shouldn't have let him stay. This would have been in the bank by now. We've still got it, ain't we? How long? We ain't broke our back for two years to lose it to the likes of him. When he gets back, we'll just tell him polite like he's got to leave. And what if he don't want to? You just sit there with your gun ready. You go. Now hide this again, and when he leaves, we'll get that gold in the town. Here he comes. Now, you just leave everything to me and get ready to use that gun. Howdy. Sure is a pretty sight up top that hill. You can almost see Texas. Did you spot that posse? Nope. Probably would if I stayed up there much longer. Decided I better make tracks. Well, we're sure sorry to see you leave. Oh, sure. It ain't often we get to chat with a visitor. Yeah. Must get pretty lonesome out here. Where did you get this? Somewhere up there on the hill. Where up there? Where, mister? Where? Don't you understand? It's gold. Gold. Uh, the mother load. <laughs> He's found El Dorado. Where? Where? Up on a hill where I stopped. Uh, you got to take us there. Go, go get the tools. Get everything. We were rich. <laughs> You've got to take us to the exact spot where you found this. We got to get up there and stake it out before somebody else does. Come on. You and I will go and then Jack can... I'm not going back up there. Well, you got to. There's a vein of gold as wide as your arm waiting to be took. Told you I'm leaving. Oh, you can't. We've waited a lifetime for this. I got a posse after my neck. Oh, you wouldn't have no neck if it wasn't for us. Yeah, you got my thanks for that. You said you had a couple of days between you and them. I don't know if that's so anymore. I got to thinking up there on the hill. I've been slowed down an awful lot. They might be coming up on me pretty quick now. Oh, we'll give you everything we've got. Oh, sure, we'll share the gold. If you want this house, go ahead and take it. It's yours. You want a gun? Here, take it. I'll give you all our food. I'll even give you Chassie. She's the only thing in this world I care about. It's been mine since you were a baby. All right, I'll show you. <laughs> Are we near there? Can't tell. Well, this is the way you come up, ain't it? Ain't too sure. 
wasn't paying much attention. I do recall looking at the view from here, though. Sure is pretty. Yeah, which way'd you go then? Well, I... What's that down there? Where? Uh, where are you looking? That dust raising up. Oh, uh, just some old wind stirring up the dust? Ain't no wind. That's a posse. Sorry, boys. You're on your own. Hey, wait a minute. The gold, where is it? Somewhere back there. Where? How far back? That you'll have to figure it out for yourself. Well, you got to show us the place. With that posse coming after me? Forget it. You ain't got no worries. They can't get here till morning. That's right. They've got to swing clear around that mountain to get to Baxter Gulch. Might even take them longer. They don't know the country. Can't chance it. Oh, please, mister. I ain't never begged for nothing in my life. But we've been looking for almost 20 years. Digging, starving, freezing. It ain't fair. You've got to show us where you found them stones. We ain't bad men, mister. Neither one of us ever killed a man. Things is different now. When there's gold this close, a man can get awful mean. He could have just showed us, that's all. Just showed us the place. He was mean. I know it the minute he showed up. A few minutes to point it out wouldn't have made no difference. Next time, I ain't gonna listen to you. I'm gonna... There ain't a gonna be no next time. You're dang right there ain't. Why are we sitting around here like a couple of plucked chickens? Why ain't we out looking? Why, sure. It's gotta be somewhere nearby. Hello in there. What did you come back for? Ain't you thanked us enough? Fact is, I got thinking. You were right. I owe you. But you're sure that posse can't get here till morning? Oh, more likely not till past noon. It's got to go way over that section of the mountain. All right. Let's start looking. Hey, come on, let's go over, Rich. <laughs> Sure. That's where I sat. See, that's where I chipped away at it. Oh, brother, luck, luck, luck! Pure, pure, solid gold! Oh, We're rich, boy! We found it! We got more than a dozen men can spend in a lifetime! Oh. It's yours, too. I take back everything I said about you. Oh, me, too. I told you I was right about him. We got to stake it out in three shares. Yeah, a third each. Oh, Mr. D, you know what this means. It's, you're richer than a king. Oh, you're richer than any Farsi. Oh, ten Farsis. You could buy and sell Farsis once you got here. Give me your full name. We'll mark your claim out first. Forget it. Ain't got no use for gold. No use. Use? It ain't a matter of use, mister. It's gold. You understand? Gold. It's all yours. Don't want no part of it. You can't be serious. I am. Well, I never. Well, it sure takes all kinds. Well, we got to stake this out and get into town so we can file our claim. <laughs>
Here. I had it hid away. It ain't much good, but it'll get you a rabbit or something. My pa will give it to me. <laughs> Thank you kindly, gentlemen. Say, as long as I'm alive, if there's anything you need, you can count on me. Me too. Well, I don't think the sheriff's been slowed down any, but I sure have. So... Take care, boys. So long, Redman. Yeah, so long, Redman. Strange one, ain't he? I'll never understand it. Well, let's get old Jassy back and go pile on that claim. Yeah, you sure you want to call it the South Home Stake and the North Home Stake? Yep. It's got a nice warm sound to it. Redmond didn't leave any too soon. Boys. Howdy. Sheriff Austin out of Oregon Flats in Texas. You're a long ways off your mark. We're after an escaped killer named Larrabee. A killer? That's right. Did he stop by here? Uh, no way. Uh, no, we, we don't know no killer by that name, do we, Jack? Nope. Uh, if any killer come through here, we sure don't know about it. He's a husky kid. Not too tall. Probably uses another name. Oh, and he might be wounded. One of my men fired at him when he escaped. Well, uh, ain't too many killers come through here. Any other trails around? Uh, well, yes. Uh, there's that uh, high mountain trail uh, a couple miles back. Uh, makes a real sharp turn and then heads over the other side. We'll try that one. Thanks. Yeah, that man Redman that passed through here, he weren't no killer, were you, John? Well, not so I know. Seemed like a good, honest, God-fearing man to me. Well, uh, then we didn't lie to the sheriff, did we? Nope. If he was a killer, we sure didn't know about it. You can't just take any man's word for it. That's right. We have to have proof. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Them, stupid. Well, what about them? <laughs> well, look at them. They ain't paying no attention to us at all. Well, they sure ain't. <laughs> if they knowed what we know, they'd sure be acting a little different. They would? Well, of course they would, stupid. They'd be right out here running to welcome us, buying us drinks and all that stuff. <laughs> That's what they all do when there's rich men around. Yeah? Well, then it won't be long till they'll be trying to get in with us. <laughs> Come on, Jesse, Come on, let's Jesse. get on with it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hold it. Now, we got to be sure that this is all done just right. You think I'm going to do it just wrong? No, but... The thing about it is, you better let me do all the talking. Now, wait a minute. You ain't done nothing but talk since the first day we met. And you ain't said nothing yet. This is important, and it's my turn to talk. Why, you... <laughs> no! You're lying to us. Nobody could have filed on that claim. That's ours. We staked it out, you hear? Now, you tell us the truth or so help me, you ain't gonna draw another breath. Well, well someone did file on it. A man wrote in a few hours ago. What man? Well, get your hands off me, I'll tell you.
homestake claim, Baxter Gulch Mountain, filed this date by Jason Larrabee. Larrabee? You mean Redmond? Why, that's... Larrabee's the name, not... I don't care what it ain't. Where's he at? Try the hotel. Come on, get your rifle. I will. and tell them you filed in our claim, you hear? What are you talking about? That sheriff was right about you. You've got to be an escape killer. You're making accusations, you better be able to back them up. This here gun will do all the backing up we need. That was our claim you filed. We staked it out. Seeing as how I found it, decided it was mine. You didn't even know what you had till we told you. Besides, you found it at our camp. Hear that. Now you own the whole mountain. Maybe not the whole mountain, but we sure do own that claim. Not according to that little office down the street. Now, I will admit, seeing as I didn't know how to, you helped me stake it out. And I'd be more than willing to pay for that help. Say with a couple of drinks at the saloon. That ought to do it. Drinks are on me, boys. You're looking at a well-heeled man. Hold still. You ain't gonna steal what it's taken us a lifetime to find. Now you sign that claim over or you ain't gonna live to use it. I'll tell you what. If you can pull that trigger, the claim's yours. These men are my witnesses. You can't, can you? You dang fool, you never had it loaded. You tried to kill me. I'm gonna have to shoot you in self-defense. I ought to string you two up for helping him get away. But we didn't think there's anything wrong with him. I figured I followed you. I'd find him. Well, he's all yours now, Sheriff. Uh, not yet. He stole a claim from us. We intend to get it back. Go ahead, take it. I told you I ain't got any use for gold. Come on, Larrabee. Yeah, wait move. a minute, Sheriff. He's got to go to the office and sign that claim over to us. Look, I told you two before, you're lucky to be alive. But, Sheriff, you can't do this. It's ours. We've been waiting all of our life for it. Oh, all right, let's go. A short time after they started working their claim, Winters and Wilson found that it was worth even more than they had dreamed. An eastern mining firm bought them out for $300,000 each in cash. Some say they were shortchanged, but not Jack and John. Oh, yes, Jesse never had to carry another load. But the two miners made a point of arguing over her now and then just to make her feel at home. Next week, another true drama from our western past. See you then. <laughs>